All right, so probably get some help for this, but um, been driving around with the this broken um, upper control link all week. Didn't really notice it until this morning or yesterday morning. So ordered the part, and um, I figured nothing catastrophic happened, so may as well drive it around the block one more time just to show you guys what it looks like when you drive your uh, Forerunner with a broken upper control link. So you can see, <clears throat> you can see that they're moving independently. Um, nothing catastrophic is really happening though. I heard some clunks and I think it was the clunk, the clunking was, you know, the, the bare end of that control arm smacking against the socket or uh, rubbing past it. But um, it was some handling. There's some handling things. Seemed a little uh, squirrely. But I just rotated the tires, and I thought, well, maybe I just waited too long to rotate the tires, and uh, and the tires are a little are worn a little bad. But it's definitely this because I've fixed it. I've since fixed it, and um, and uh, the problem is is gone. Handles great, just fine. Everything's good. So this is just driving around the block from my house. There's, it's all left turns, and um, so some, you know, some, uh, some little water bar, you know, water drainages to cross, some bumps, and then um, there's one big bump. I don't know about halfway through here. It's probably coming up. They're just definitely moving up and down independently, but there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of side-to-side -side movement. Here's, here's the, this is a stop, so the big bump is coming up. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of side-to-side -side movement, which I guess because the track bar controls that. There doesn't seem to be a lot of weird rotation of the axle. Um, so in case you're ever wondering if it's catastrophic if you break just one of your control links, it's not terribly catastrophic. So there's the big bump. I think that made a clunk. Camera is uh, it's a GoPro. It's attached to the lower control arm. So that's the shock there on the left, and uh, of course the spring, and then the axle, um, the lower right. And you can see the track bar straight through there between the axle and the spare tire. Here's getting towards the end. I'm going to stop and back into the driveway. I didn't really want to hit it hard going into the driveway. We have those annoying um, soft curves, which are hard curves. So I didn't hit it really hard. I made that mistake before. One time I came screaming into the driveway and blew out one of my uh, lower ball joints right there in the driveway. That was sketchy. All right, that's it. Stay tuned for the repair video, which is coming up next. Mm -hmm.